science had spoken, like the scientific uh, result research that was carried out in one of the universities in Boracourt. And uh, this, this is a research. I just came across this. And it's very interesting to share. And before I go into this, I want to make some things clear. This is not um, actually to prove whether Equere, they are from the Igbo part or they are from Bini. They've said uh, they, are from, they, are, they, are, they migrated from the Bini. And this is it's all right. Um, even regardless of the similarities in language, in culture, and every other thing, even geographical uh, uh, boundaries we share, they share with the Igbos, one can still assert his or her ethnicity. You understand? Not minding even the facts. So I'm not here. I don't care if you are a, you are for uh, Equates or the Igbo, Equates or Bini. I'm just here to share uh, the research that was carried out by. I think the lead researcher here is a John Mualim Paul. I think he's probably be an Equate guy. Just a Gabriel Sunday or Ladipo. Gabriel Sunday or Ladipo. Love Day. So, uh, another person called Love Day. This is on, uh, this is a journal of, this is journal that a farmer health sciences.net, www.farmerhealthsciences.net. So, the journal was published and then um, this was done in 2019. And they used um, a branch of science called dermatographics. Dermatographics is a, a branch of science that studies uh, these uh, patterns in the human fingers, uh, the toes, and uh, the soles, like different kind of patterns. And with that, you can trace, you can employ it to trace uh, the, the similarities in like a cluster, like of people, like a group of people in ethnic group or their ancestral origin. So that's what they employed, and they got about 400 Ukwere guys got. 400 Equator people participated in it, and that 400 Igbo and 400 Bini people participated in this um, research. And the result was uh, very, very striking. I, I will share the link to the PDF in the comment, first comment section of this video. And before I go into discussing the full result, like you will see the result, I will show the results as we are playing this video. And um, I want to show it. Uh, on the results, you see, like when they, they, they matched the query and the bini, and then they matched the query and the ebos, and the results were recorded. So there's, there's no point arguing anymore. Uh, this place, uh, this place is from this place, this place from this place. But there's something else I want to say. I, I, want, I want to make it very clear that that there's no point. Like we going forward and back in all these things, people can decide not to be. The queries can exist without the ebos. Ibos can exist without the equators. You get. So, I'm not saying anything so hard about people always fighting themselves. You guys are part of the Ibo. They say, no, we're Bini. And some people even made it like one of their lifetime yeah, goal or duty to just maybe defend it or feel like Ibos, they call them Ibo expansionist. And you'd be worried. Why, why are Ibo so much interested in even uh, trying to like make that always pronounce that these people are, are part of the Igbo, uh, Igbo tribe. And those people don't want it. They want to be on their own. Do you understand? But I also assume that, that the, the two things could, could actually coexist. You could say the two truths could actually coexist. You could say we are part of an Igbo, Igbo uh, ethnic group, but we decided to stay on our own. These things very easy than maybe sometimes denying the obvious. So the results showed exactly that when they matched the Equator and Bini, the results showed that yeah, there was significant difference between the two. When the Igbo and the Equators were matched, the test showed that there was no uh, significant difference meaning they are related. So um, the, the other one has 1.7%, like Equator and the Bini had 1.7% research. Igbo and Equator had 
one on average percentage of being together. So on the guy square, the Igbos where Igbos and Equalos showed uh, virtually no difference in the two of them. And th this not I'm not doing this thing to show uh, whether I, I'm not here to prove anything. It's just to share what I found. I was I was going through some other things because a lot of times you see a lot of people online fighting yourself, this, that. So it became a, a thing of interest to me and I said studying a lot of things about it and just came across uh, this uh, research paper and it was very interesting. And I went through it. I've gone through it like two times and I felt like, oh, something I could just share to my own ears. And that takes me to something that I want to discuss with like in two minutes. Now, the, the, the way the Igbo society is structured, Igbo has independent or autonomous ethnic groups at, that is uh, below the, uh, the main Igbo nation. There are about 39 Igbo variants, like Igbo dialects, like within the Igbo speaking region. That's the Igbo North, the Igbo West, the Igbo South, and the Igbo East. And all of them are not within the, the, the geographic space. The south, current South is, which are the five states of Enugu, Abia, Imo, Anambra, and Eboy. So there, there are a lot of things that, there are a lot of similarities in this. There are a lot of the dialects that they are very similar to the other. There are even a lot of the dialects that some people they find it difficult to understand the other one. Do you understand? And they're also Igbo dialect. So, and if you check a lot of write-up online about it, and a lot of things have changed 